While a plane is in flight, navigational aids ensure safety by transmitting signals into the air and providing the information the aircraft needs from the moment it takes off to the moment it lands. Types of navigational aids include the instrument landing system, which consists of the glide path that provides information on the landing glide path of three degrees, and a localizer that guides the aircraft to the center of line of the runway, the VOR which provides the azimuth, which provides positioning information for military aircraft. In the past, these navigational aids were operated by personnel who used measuring devices on the ground or on a rooftop to check transmitted signals. The range of the signals to be measured did not reach to the air by this method. In order to overcome the limitations of ground-based checking, since 2016, Korea Airports Corporation has been developing the drone-based glide path checking system called DIVA. The core technology of DIVA lies on the signal measurement systems for navigational aids and its portability that easily equipped on a drone. These compact, ultra-lightweight measurement systems can be mounted on any drone and can check and analyze information from the localizer, glide path, VOR, and TACAN. KAC has registered four patents for this technology and received CE certification for its signal measurement systems. These signal measurement systems collect and analyze navigational aid signals while in the air and transmit the data to monitors on the ground. Drone-based checks allow for faster checking than ground-based systems by eliminating the efforts to move and relocate to multiple checking stations. It is also available to receive three-dimensional in-air transmission data, which leads to more precise and meticulous check. The drone check can be done as a way of pre-inspection and prevents the additional flight inspection by the government that is time and money consuming. The DIVA system receives RF signals in the air using the navigational aid antenna. Then, the signal measurement systems analyze the signals and convert them into data, and the measurement data is transmitted to the ground. Next, the measurement data is sent to analysis terminals via a ground station. The analysis terminals can use proprietary software to analyze measurement data signals in real time. The first step for creating a flight path for navigational aid checks using a drone is inputting data from sources such as flight information publications. The path generating program is used to make drone flight course as KML file and Google Maps check for any errors. Finally, the automatic flight path for the drone is uploaded and reviewed. There are a total of four flight paths, depending on the navigational aid. The first is the process for checking the localizer, called the Approach Level Run Orbit Check, which inspects whether the signals for the structure and course of the approach slope provided by the localizer are normal. The second is the Orbit Check, which checks whether the transmission signal for the clearance of the localizer is normal within a range of 35 degrees, left and right. The third is the approach level run flight method, which checks whether the course and clearance of the glide path's approach slope are normal. Next, in-air transmission signals from the VHF omnidirectional radio range and the tactical air navigation system are analyzed by drones performing remote flight around the two devices. Korea's DIVA system can also simultaneously check two flight facility systems, allowing for faster and easier inspections. These drone flights can be used to check items such as the structure, course width, symmetry, modulation, alignment, identification, and RF level on course. For a straight-line localizer flight, DDM0 microampere can be measured on course and the structure can be used to check alignment and centerline true bearing. When checking the localizer, 
The width point of the transmission signal can be checked from a specific point mid-air. This point shows the width point of the localizer and has a DDM value of 150 microampere. When checking glide path level run, the width point of the transmission signal can be checked from a particular point mid-air. This point shows the width point of the localizer and has a DDM value of 150 microampere. When checking the glide path approach, the DDM0 microampere on course can be measured and the safety of the path structure can be inspected. After the flight has been concluded, a report is automatically generated and the check is completed. The localizer result report provides the analyzed values of transmission signal checks, average of the modulation, the minimum, the maximum, and power. The report also shows the modulation degree of the ID signal, the code course, the frequency of the clearance signal, and information on the precision of the drone flight. In addition, graph values and the capture point are also analyzed and displayed. The localizer clearance check report shows the modulation of the localizer signal at each angle as well as the power values and the analysis values for the signals in general. This report also shows analyzed data on the course, the frequency of the clearance signal, and information on the precision of drone flight. Along with graph values and the capture points for each category. The glide path result report displays the characteristic value and modulation of transmissions, the measurement values for power, the frequency, and information on the precision of drone flight, along with graphs of the measurement values. The VOR result report allows users to check transmitted values such as the azimuth error, modulation, FM index, and power as well as the graphs for each category. Likewise, in the Tekken result report, Users can view transmitted characteristic values such as the azimuth error, modulation, number of squitter, and power as well as graphs for each category. In this manner, drone checks to provide information identical to the information included in government flight checks and produce highly precise graphs of the results. In addition, the DIVA system is also equipped with a spectrum analyzer function that measures in-air transmission signals in the form of a frequency spectrum. KAC has now succeeded in developing technology for checking DME, and our technology is the first in the world to enable full inspection of the localizer, glide path, VOR, TACAN, and DME. The DIVA system has been used for inspections of navigational aids at civilian and military airports in South Korea since 2019. And the South Korean government is working to adapt navigational aid checks using drones to international standards. Korea Airports Corporation is leading the future airport by developing cutting-edge drone solutions of the fourth industrial revolution for safe and efficient airport operations.